The Heritage Foundation's Dean Chang says there's no question Beijing's trying to buy political influence with Pacific Island governments like Yap, with millions for huge new resorts and other infrastructure. But Beijing is also challenging Washington in other ways in the Pacific. The larger the influx of Chinese um, visitors, the greater the potential for espionage. Some have even raised the security issue as a reason Guam is still waiting for DHS to parole in Chinese visitors. But Chang says a greater concern for the region is deployment of Chinese military facilities. China has a fleet of space tracking ships. And again, that could be, you know, access to places like Micronesia could help them um, keep better track of both their own space assets, but also other countries' space assets. Chang says the Chinese earlier built a space tracking facility on Kiribati. And the next step? The most likely next step from a military perspective would be for port visits by Chinese ships, warships. Chang says Beijing would first have to sign controversial agreements with the FSM to allow for such visits to repair and resupply their ships. But Chang says bringing in large Chinese military aircraft would be quite extraordinary, though possible with long runways built to handle huge commercial jetliners. Unless and until the Chinese sign something that says, hi, we're going to send military aircraft into Yap, you know, it's something we should be aware of. It's something we should be on the lookout for. But there's no direct evidence that that's what the Chinese are doing. And Chang concludes China's YAP deal is therefore not necessarily a military challenge. The U.S. is deploying Marines to Australia and may still do so in Guam. China's not doing that in YAP. But Chang says it is every bit as much trying to influence the area as if it were deploying troops. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.